she's doing a thing. <laughs> you literally hit me with <laughs> spit. Right you don't have to wear masks anymore. <laughs> Welcome to What the Fuck is in the Box. It's a show where we take a couple minutes to show you what comes in the lovely, well decorated boxes of products that we sell you every day. Hold on, Drew. Oh, if you don't sorry. mind, I just want to thank the people with us now for liking our shows in the past. You're That's very, important. You're very serious. Yeah. I'm not used yeah. to this. I want to also thank the nice folks at home viewing this on the inner tubes for subscribing to our show. You forgot the main point thing you're supposed to say. I'm not done. Okay. You're an interrupter. Knock, knock. <laughs> I'm not doing the interrupting cow. Let's go. No. <laughs> also commenting. We appreciate all of you fine folks that are commenting. So. Uh, thank uh, you. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. If you do want to see more of it, the likes certainly help us know uh, and help get more content. I think that was what he was getting at. I think I got it. What I was getting at. Just <laughs> I don't need you to speak to what I'm getting at. You can just get it what you're getting at and then we'll do all right. Hey, what did you bring with you today? A G91 ghost speaker. Wow. That was That's pretty right. exact. Yeah. That was impressive. Yeah. Who's it from? From True Audio. Oh, there yeah. we go. Yeah, yeah. From uh, Jimmy the Wookie, who's no longer Wookie He's Wookie. He's not Wookie Wookie. Hey, anymore. Wookie Wookie, it's Jimmy the Wookie. <laughs> All right. So, what is the Ghost series? Why don't you talk a little bit about that so that people know what Ghost means? The Ghost series are the speakers that are meant to be heard and not seen, my friend. Ooh. They are, some might say that they're white speakers. I would say that they're speakers lacking color. So, that's a good point. <laughs> So overall, the design and uh, feel of the ghost speakers is is really something that I, I find useful because a lot of times the speakers have a white grill and a black background, and when you do that, you end up having a white Zebras. grill with a a, <laughs> a kind of shadowy looking hue on the grill. And um, True Audio kind of took a different approach, and then they took the bezel and the bridge, and most of the speakers in the Ghost series are all white. Uh, some of them have some carbon fiber on the cones and stuff like that, but generally they're a white tone so that when the grill's on, it's just white. I just want everybody to know he says he doesn't research. Lies. <laughs> you sleep on a throne of lies. lies. Pop the box, sit, baby. Sit, Let's sit. Sit on a throne. You don't sit. Uh, as one example, by the way, he's already ripped the tape off the bottom and was hiding it from all of you fine folks. I would never think of hiding anything from you guys. Sneaky, sneaky, sir. I hope the tape never. is still there. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. By the way, Ghost the box speakers. looks fantastic. It may be hard to pick up on the camera, but they Hey, do... we put a fully white speaker inside of an entirely black box just to confuse you. It's got some black on black type of uh, marketing it sure approach does. here. That's right. Let's see, because it's ghostly, right? That's so right. It's very ghostly. We're going to put this over here. Well, you got good stuff on the inside. I know you like to talk about boxes and good stuff. So this has the three key features to the speaker that we're not going to talk about because I want to make sure Eric knows them. But there are three key features on this. So we're going to see if Eric can figure out what they are. What are the features? All right. So you've got the quick connect feature, which allows you to quickly speak, uh, connect the speaker to the speaker wires. You've got um, true grip which is the, um, what some people might just call spring-loaded kind of connectors that clamp it down to the drywall. And um, the third feature, I, I know I have a third feature to talk about, but this is a nine inch that'll fit in their standard eight inch uh, rough end ring, which is super cool, That's along great. with a seven inch. What was their third one listed? There's oh, there's no third! <laughs> there's really two, I want to see if you'd make it up. That's good, Drew. Uh, you're a good liar, here you go, liar. Hey. Who wants a pizza? What is it? This is the cutout template. It All says right. it right on there. So you go ahead and put that up against the ceiling. Like you're making a pizza pie and then you take your pencil and you make a little thing and then you take the, si the drywall saw and then you pull the... <coughs> ...thing out of the thing and you pop the speaker in. So you mentioned Quick Connect and that is something that is extremely important for this speaker set. They have a nice little guide here, but while I'm kind of taking this very, very well put together speaker out of this box without dropping Those are always it, fun. why don't you go through that? Yeah, so Quick Connect super cool, actually. It basically allows you to cut down your installation time at trim phase by a considerable amount. So when you're in there and you're pre-wiring the house and you've got these rough-in rings, essentially the rough-in rings have terminals on the side of it. So you put the rough-in ring in, then you're going to wire the speaker wire straight to that rough-in ring. Of course, the drywallers come in, they'll trim everything out, finish it up, 
And then when your guys come back in, or gals, to put the speaker up in the ceiling, basically all they're doing is taking a jumper from the speaker to that rough end ring, to those quick connect terminals, and that's your connection point. So you're not cutting wires anymore. You're not like threading wires into the stuff at the end. It's already there. I'm waiting patiently to open the bag because it'll be loud next to the microphone. High production value here, folks. So as we talked about before, right? So the ghost speaker internally, right, has all the white features on it. Mm -hmm. Or so. those features lacking color. <laughs> so why don't you tell us about the bridge? Why is the bridge special, Eric? The bridge? Get from one side to the other side, Drew. You didn't think that was funny? I thought it was entertaining at the end, sure. The way all the worms, words were put together. But uh. in terms of content, no. That's it? That's all you got? You didn't well, know this one? You can hold it and use it as a uh, handle to put it up in the fancy. ceiling if you wanted to without getting getting your hands on the uh, cone and stuff. So yeah, they have a reinforced bridge specifically designed for installation features for you guys to be able to grab the bridge, hold the speaker up, and hopefully it doesn't break while they do this. But yeah, mm -hmm. it feels pretty sturdy. Mm -hmm. This is a very, very, very <clears throat> heavy speaker. For it's a well-made speaker. So they've done a tremendous amount on the redesign. They have taken their time, they redesigned everything really, really nice. You've got the true grip, which uh, Drew <laughs> is playing with right now. So go ahead it's and- too fun, it's too what fun. Do you got, what do you got going over there? All right, so as you guys can tell, there's these little dog ears here, and as you flip them, it quickly snaps into place so that you don't have to sit up there and screw these into the ceiling, and it holds it very snug. So it's a very tight uh, piece here, but you can uh, very easily set those, and, and they just click real easy. <gasps> It's nice. So you would literally just hold this up and then you can pretty quickly just snap each piece into place and it attach it to the drywall. What if for some reason you need to tighten it even further? They have a screw that you can spin in. Well, this actually has a ratchet motion at the oh, very end. It yeah, it so it's interesting. A lot of folks think that this is only spring loaded, but actually um, in the research that I did, uh -oh. There is uh, the ability to ratchet. It's it's got the. Um, it does keep going. That's the right. Yeah, it'll, going. it'll tighten yeah. it either even further. So that's that's nice. a really cool feature. Um, you also mentioned the uh, ghost, right? So it kind of hides. That's yeah. the the goal behind the design. Yeah. This trim on the bezel is actually forty percent smaller than it has been previously. So at this point, they kind of disappear right into the ceiling yeah. with the white grill and the mic white background. It actually looks really, really nice. I think my grill's in here somewhere, but I and I glossed know. over it earlier. But this is a nine-inch speaker, so you're going to get a lot of output out of this. It is a three-way design. The mid-range and the tweeter both pivot. We're doing this upper camera, so the mid-range and the tweeter will will pivot in there, which is a really cool feature. Um, yeah, <laughs> I was waiting on that. Bust it open. Sorry, the uh, grill itself is uh, located under the speaker in case you're curious. So the bracket for this, which I think part number is, well, correct me if I'm wrong, RC879, I think, memory serves me. But what's cool about that is it'll actually be the seven inch and the nine inch. Okay, so, right, so they have a seven inch bracket. ghost, a, a 71, as well as this 91. So cool thing is you can go and you can put your rough end brackets in today, get everything pre-wired up like we were talking about, and you don't have to have sold the customer on the product that they're gonna end up with right. yet. You can still go in and, and install the seven inch or the nine inch at that point. And I think that's always key, right? Less skews is very, very important that's a big deal. for you guys as integrators, less things to carry on the truck. So one rough end bracket um, to hold multiple skews. So you guys will know, you do get the one we open on the box because you're going to see that uh, this box is kind of destroyed. So They're working really hard to get it out. I had to find it too. They had it hidden. It was ghostly. You couldn't find it. Mm -hmm. So what do they use these little sheets for? Eric? These, uh, in case you don't have a mask when you're doing your installation during this time of uh, pandemia. So <laughs> those help with the ghost effect, right? So that there's already one in here. You can put another one. But again, so you don't end up with this any kind of hue. Uh, Awesome, we are giving that away, everybody. <laughs> oh excuse me. Most people say excuse me when their friend sneezes. Oh, or gesundheit, or God bless you, any of those would have been fine. Woo. So, as we can tell, white grill, no bezel, all magnet, everything hidden, very, very nice and secure. So, back box as well. Why is a back box nice, Eric? Back, by, back box. <laughs> so this one's vented, right? Yeah. Um, but basically it's gonna keep a lot of your sound 
uh, forced out the front of the Correct. speaker instead of allowing it to come out through the back. And to Eric's point, this is not a completely sealed back box, but anytime you have an enclosure on a speaker, it does help keep the sound focused, which is very important in ceiling and wall, especially if there's somebody living above or behind where these are installed. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times in ceiling and wall, the sound does seem to leak out more than you'd like. So any kind of back box is, is very nice. And obviously uh, the quick connect terminals here, Yep. If you do the quick connect rough and brackets that Eric talked about, and then you have your standard terminals if you'd like to use those. So you yeah. get both sets of options. Honestly, you're crazy not to use the uh, quick connect terminals yeah, and use great. the rough in brackets, right? It's going to make sure that the drywallers, you know, don't come in and screw up your stuff. You're going to have everything trimmed out. It makes for an incredibly fast installation and it's going to lock your customer into your brand of speakers nice and early. Right? And that's the Which key, right? Getting this in so that you know that they're gonna get the brand that you guys support out there, so. And speaking of the brand that is supported, True Audio is an amazing company. They have a great, great company. Customer service is fantastic. Their support, RA, if you ever have any questions or service issues, they're gonna take really great care of you. The folks over there are fantastic. Absolutely, so are we giving this away? Just one? We're going to give that away, but not the tissue that came with it. Yeah. All right? You don't get the tissue. We'll get you a fresh tissue. Don't worry. We're giving away two of these. Two of them. Two. Two singles? Two Half eaches. a pair. Two eaches. Two times half of a pair. Two times half a pair. Yes. Yeah. Full pair. I had to do the math. Took a you while. guys are in Stop. luck. What do they have to do to get two times half a pair of both we of these speakers? We need you to comment with some way we can identify your dealer. Ship. Retailer ship. Retailer yeah. ship. We'll go to retailer ship. That's we'll ship your pants. <laughs> ship your pants for free. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. they like it. And they subscribe to make sure that they don't miss a single one of these episodes. And right? please remember, subscribing and liking helps us produce more content. So uh, please, please like and subscribe. It's very important. Smash what's the warranty on this? What's the warranty on this? Like if I were to take it and just slide it off the table, what's the war warranty? <laughs> you bought it from now or in general? Oh, what if it slipped? I have no idea what the warranty Lifetime, is. Baby. Lifetime, baby. Lifetime. Say, you bought it from us, we'll take it back. Go with we'll it. That's out. right. We'll always help you out. We got you covered. That's right. That's good. That was a really good little oh, promo there. Oh, yeah. thanks. All right. We'll see I'm you guys next time. Bye. Hi. Oh, that's just nasty. Do